Thank you very much, Uwe. Uh, thanks for your kind introduction. So welcome, everybody. <coughs> so this presentation is essentially about a summary of our key research findings um, of the last couple of years we have been working on in a number of EU projects. Uh, so basically, I'm tr I try to distill a couple of PhD theses of work uh, into one 45, 50 minute or so presentation. So if, uh, excuse me if not the full detail is there, but I provided also some references which you can then follow up and of course everything is uh, online and you can also see it uh, later on. So when we look at the landscape today, my claim is that what we are seeing is basically a smart evolution, as I call it, of three building blocks of computing systems. People, software services and things are increasingly being put together into information systems. And there are many uh, instances of examples. We can have homes, uh, smart homes, e-health systems, governmental networks, transportation or energy networks. And all of these systems of the future um, have these three building blocks inside, of, inside them. The only question is basically how, you know, to what percentage are they represented? How can we specify them, how can we build them, and how can we actually make them run and monitor them. Um, in order to do that, we think that it's quite helpful to look at it from an uh, ecosystem's perspective. So when we think in ecosystems, I, I, I like to use one example from nature, the marine ecosystem depicted here. You can see that you have these different building blocks. In this case, it's the sun. Uh, emitting uh, solar energy, you have different uh, uh, players in the in, in the natural habitat here, um, and all of these together they built a complex network system with dependencies and adaptation. So they have adaptive behavior. So whenever you have adaptive behavior to a particular situation, you have to think about robustness. So how can you achieve stability in the presence of any disruption? and you have to measure the health of the system. In other words, you have to know when is your system sick and when is it uh, healthy, right? So similar even to our human body with the autonomic nervous system, we have systems in place which immediately you know, show themselves uh, you have fever, you have all kinds of problems when something goes wrong. So there is some monitoring going on, it's some measuring going on, and there is some level of robustness built in. And my basically fundamental assumption is that the systems that we have to build have to follow this ecosystem.